live from the farm it's to the table it's, it's the insane board as they say it's the insane board game freak show with your host media insane board game freak yo come on score boy <laughs> this goes out this episode this game goes out to tyler mcneil tyler mcneil if you're watching be happy Here's the game for you that you wanted to see me review. In this episode... A game with chicken pig, hybrids, strategy, and pooping cow. A farm-to-table game. In this episode, chicken pig. A farm-to-table game. A farm-to-table game. The board game. Quick! To the board game room! <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's the game made by Dave Matthews, I believe. If I was I heard him right in the video. <laughs> Chick a pig. A farm the table game. The, the farm the table. The, the, the board game. All right. So in this game, really cool production here. We're making the um, this game. Well, it's not really wood, but it's cool though. Look at that. That that's pretty cool. I like this. You're going to get your tokens here. All men have wood. Real wood, folks. Real wood chips. All right. And uh, you're going to get your chicken pigs on here. Okay. You're going to get your chicken pig. Oh, it's the first edition. Wow, cool. Yeah, all right. You're going to get the haystacks. All right. Hey, stacks. Here's a chicken pigs. Alright, more chicken pigs. There's a die here. Okay, I'll tell you what all these do. That's symbol. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. But um, this is when the cow. That's right, you guessed the cow poops. And then this is uh flower daisies. You gotta watch the other review about this game. The people who made this game made a review about this game. And they do the instructionals. Look it up. Check it out. It's so funny. The The guy does the uh, the lady's voice. He's like, you know, the guy's wife's voice. It's almost like Green Acres or something like that. Well, not, not Green Acres. Green Acres was with uh, Zsa Zsa Gabor. And, I don't know. So, <laughs> Anyway, you know what I mean. So, but uh, what do you call it? Um, it's a cool game. Let, let's let me uh, set it up and check it out. You got cards here, too, and uh, yeah, like uh, move an opponent's piece if you're a choice. Uh, one legal move, chicken pig, hay bale, lose your next turn. Take one chicken pig out of your pen and place it on your one of your starting positions yeah so stuff like that all right so like here's these are your daisy cards all right these are your cow the cow poops cards or something your cow cards all right let's set this game up There's something else in here oh yeah it does the timer Wow, cool. Comes with a timer. And beep beep, that's all folks. Wrong pig. Chicka pig, not porky pig. Alright, so um Alright, so the game unfolds like so. And basically the to me this game is like playing like a weird kind of game of hockey. Okay, but different. All right, so here's the cow's poop. 
The cow poops. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta watch the video. Cool, funny video. Alright, so, um... Let me set this bad boy off and that's it. Alright, here we go. It's Chicka Pig. The game. Okay, so now, the board game. So, Chicka Pig rules, okay? So, you're in charge of a flock of, uh, of Chicka Pigs. The first player that gets their Chicka Pigs across the board and through their goal wins the game. Okay, along your way, you're going to do everything that you can to thwart your, your opponents and beware of the pooping cow, okay? Okay, so now... Why do chicken pigs want to cross the board to get to the other side? Duh. Okay. <laughs> Everything you need to um, know about chicken pigs. All right. So you want to get your your chicken pigs off the board by escaping through, you know, your goal. Okay. So which is located directly across from your six chicken pigs. So your goal of your so, like, let's just say my goal of my six chicken pigs for blue is going to be over there, the blue goal. See, those blue lines? So, green is going to go into the green goal, okay? But, I know, it's confusing a little bit, but you see the red over there, and, you know, why are you seeing opposite colors of whatever? Because that that's the way the game is, okay? So, chicken pigs move in a straight line, forwards, backwards, and sideways, never diagonal. Um, once they start moving, they can't stop. So until, um, they encounter another chicken pig, a, a, a hay bale, like a bale of hay, or the cow and the cow fence, okay? So now, um, the, the perimeter of the game board or the size of the goals is also when they stop moving. So when they reach that, they stop. The chicken pig stops in a space adjacent to whichever uh, object is it has encountered. So... One move is counted every time the chicken pig moves to encounter an object. And you can only move your own color chicken pigs. You can't move your chicken pigs inside the other player's goals. Okay? So I can't move here. And, you know, so basically I would move like that. And then, like, all the way up. Okay? And it, until I can stop. But you you can also move bales of hay. So if a bale of hay was here, I'd be able to stop right there. All right. But let me get more to the instructions so I don't confuse you. So hay bales are used offensively to help your chicken pigs find their way through your gall. Okay. And they also use defensively to block your opponent's chicken pigs from getting to their goals. All right. So. Hay, bales of hay may be moved one space at a time, forward, backward, and sideways. Diagonal movements are not allowed, so not never diagonal. One move is accounted every time uh, the bale of hay moves one space. So bales of hay can be moved to any of open square on the board, including inside the goals. And you can only move your own bale of hay, your own color bale of hay. You can only move. Okay, so... Uh, if a player rolls a one, all right, then uh, they have the option to pick the cow, pick up the cow and place it on any open square on the board. When the cow is placed on an open square, it poops. <laughs> I love that. It poops. It poops. And a poop is placed beneath the cow. So, you know, you could place it here and a poop is placed beneath the cow. Like that. Okay. So now, um, the first time a player rolls a one and chooses to move the cow, they must also rem remove the cow fence from the board for the remainder of the game. So they're going to go like this. All right. And then that's out for the game. And you can move for any space that you want, put a poop underneath them, and that's it. All right. So now, um, any player can still move the cow on their turn, even if they do not roll a one. Okay, 
and the, there is no one on this die. It's just the cow, okay? So that's what they mean by what I just explained. All right, so now, uh, in this instance, uh, the cow moves one square at a time, okay? And um, just like, you know, bales of hay. So the cow can't move diagonally. One move is, is, one move is counted every time the cow moves one space. The cow does not poop during this move. It only poops when a one is rolled and then the cow is placed on an open square. Okay? So whenever you, somebody rolls a one, the cow is going to poop. And you, you can move the cow and then place poop underneath here. And then put a cow there at any open space. Alright? So now, the cow can travel back over its own poop with no consequence. But it can't double poop in one square. Chicken pigs don't stop at poops. They slip right through them. Then, ew. Then, then they, uh... Until they hit another object. So a chicken pig is going to go through the poop. Let's just say it's poop over here. And then until it hits another object or something, okay? So now, um... Uh... So cows like poop, chicken poop, chicken pigs don't. When the cow poops and they and then moves again, the poop is now uh stays in the square where the cow left it. Okay, when you pass over a square where the cow left it, you know, poop with a chicken pig or a bale of hay, remove the poop from the board and take a poop card, and the poop card is is read out loud. And it re and enforced at the end of the player's turn, then is shuffled back into the deck. So, for instance, you're gonna go cow poops and somebody else rolls a one. They'll move it here, and the cow's gonna poop there. Okay, but if somebody lands on a poop, they don't land on and stop. They keep on sliding. All right, until they they like hit an object or a chicken pig or somebody. All right. And then, you know, if, when they do, they're going to draw, oh, lose your next turn. Okay? And they're going to put it at the bottom of the deck. So that's going to happen. Alright? But you might get other cards that say those things, so. Well, you will get cards that say those things. But anyway, daisies. Now, um, if you roll a two, you have the option of taking the daisy card. Alright? And, uh, and instead of using your two moves. So all the daisy cards are good. And then you're going to keep the daisy card a secret. And use it at any point during the game. While it's your turn. So you can hold on to one daisy card at a time. And you can't play a daisy card on the turn that you picked it up. So when you pick it up the daisy card. You can't use it. You got to use it on your next turn. And in this case your next turn you want to use this daisy card. Free flyover. You may fly over one chicken pig, hay bale on or cow. Cool. All right. This move may happen at any point during your turn and counts as one of your moves. Okay. So that's that with that, and you put it on the bottom of the deck of the daisies. That's if you roll a daisy. That's a two. The cow's gonna be a one. The rest is all gonna be numbers. You know, uh, three, four, and five, and six. Okay, so that's basically it. After you play a daisy card, shuffle it back underneath the deck. Okay, so you can't play a daisy card on the turn that, that you pick it up. Okay, so now you're going to set up the board like a diagram, like, like, like how I just showed you. All right. And, um... Now you're going to roll to determine who goes first. High roll goes first. Play then continues clockwise to the left the rest of the game. On your turn, you're going to roll a die and move your pieces. Okay? So the number that you roll represents the total number of moves you have on that turn. So you're free to move any of your pieces or the cow in any order until you've reached your move limit. So you must reach your total move limit 
Coordinate your chickapigs and your bay hails, hail, hail, uh, hay bales to quickly get all your chickapigs through to your goal. So if I roll a six, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, you know? So and that's that. So now um, the first player who gets their entire flock of chicken pigs through their goal wins a game. You may defensively uh, play the game by blocking uh, with your um, own chicken pigs, hay bales, and the cow. Whenever possible, poop in other players' goals and other areas that the chicken pigs might have to cross over. Okay? So, um... Uh, it's illegal to completely block another player's goal. Uh, there must always be at least one way through the goal for every chicken pig. So you can't, this is okay because they can come through, but you can't totally block it. That's cheating. Okay, so that's that. So now, um, so it's illegal to do that. There must always be a way to get through. An illegal block can consist of a uh, combination of chicken pigs and hay bales anywhere on the board that completely blocks access to um, one's goal. Okay? So now... Um, no illegal block exists... If a player can access their goal by moving their own piece, pieces or uh, the cow, no matter how many moves it may take to get there. All right. So uh, one slow chicken pig player can really slow down the fun. Whether you use the, uh, the included sand timer. All right. Or, you know, um. You know, you set your own timer. Feel free to to impose a specific, a specific, specified time per move to keep the game rolling along. So no, not allowed downtime. No, no um, analysis paralysis. Okay. So now uh, for a two-player game, Chicken Pig, I'll just show you. All right, that's that. Okay. And that's basically it. So player one, player two plays. All right. You can do that on a diagonal. And they'll play blue and red. And the other team will be green and yellow. Or you can just do it like this. One and one like that. And play it like that. Okay. So now um, here's some other examples. To basically know how to play the game. Alright, so you're going to move your chicken pig. Okay. And then two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Alright. And that's basically it. First person to get all 10 chicken pigs, you know, all uh, six of the chicken pigs through their goal wins the game. And that's chicken pig, a farm to table game. Now let's go see my final thoughts about the game. All right, so final thoughts. What do I do with this game? Wow, 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 wow. I think I almost slipped on poop. Uh, either that or this, this game was so good, I almost, uh, my pants. <clears throat> the game's good, it's cool, it's great. That video about this game that, that from the creators that made this game is hysterical. You gotta watch that. All right, if you're watching this video about this review about this game, that's cool too. Thank you very much. Cheers to you. All right. All right, so, uh, you know, a 
fan of mine that likes my show and wanted me to dedicate this uh, video to him, this, this episode to him, and this game to him. So I was actually going to do this chicken pig game, you know. And, you know, uh, there, it was like co total coincidence that he asked me to do this game. So it's pretty cool. So I have another chicken pig game coming up. It's called Chicken Piglets. It's like a racing game or something like that. And, uh, uh, but that's basically it. So, uh, Tyler, Tyler McNeil, I hope that, uh, you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this uh, review about this game. Um, so, uh, that's basically it. But th the game is cool. Um, I like moving the cow around. Whenever you move one, the sterical, because you move the cow around and then you get to put the poo down. And then, you know, the, when, 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 you, when you put the poo down like that and... You, you're you gotta try to like land and like poop you know otherwise you're gonna slip and slide and go keep on going but that's good you can get right through the goal with the poop so you know that's kind of cool um it's a funny comical game kids get a kick out of this game it's almost like playing hockey a little bit and soccer in a way or something like that but um i don't know like you know in a, in a, in a board game kind of stuff in a way the sand time is cool you can also use your own very own um, I like rolling a daisy on a die because it's positive and doesn't have anything to do with poop and like, you know, negative things happening to me in the game. Who wouldn't like that? Uh, the wood chips are really cool or, you know, really good quality. They're, they are made out of wood and gotta say that, you know, for sure. Cause that's for sure. Cause they are made out of wood. So everything's made out of wood and recycled products, which is pretty cool. Um, Except for the, the die and the uh, sand timer, of course, and the instructions. But the instructions, yeah, everything's... Whatever. Uh, it's from Buffalo Games. Pretty cool. Um, I do think that the guy, um, Dave Matthews, made up this uh, board game or something like that. I'm not sure. Him and a friend of... Because I was looking at the video, I'm like, Dave Matthews? Yeah. So, but that's the back of the box. Right? Yeah, they... Uh, Farming buddy Dave Matthews to bring this game from the table from the table. Hey, cheers to you, Dave Matthews and your friend that made this game. Very cool. Hats off to you. Great. Great game. Fun. I like it. You can, I got it at Walmart. You can get it at Walmart or at Target, whatever, maybe a thrift shop. But um, or you can order online, you know, from their their website themselves. So it's a pretty cool game. I like it a lot. It's a good game. That's Chick a peg, a farm to table game. The, the board game. That's it for Terry Bye. Looks like this game is over. Board game, freak out.